Hello and greetings my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just gonna be doing kind of random stuff. I need to get some things done around the house. I am gonna be making dinner though tonight. I'm gonna be making my sweet and sour chicken. It is so, so good. Super easy to make. That's one of my go-to meals whenever I'm like, what do I make? And it's this recipe because I have all the ingredients at all times. I'm gonna be doing that. I'm also gonna be making a dessert. I have like a Starbucks copycat chocolate cream cheese muffin. If you guys visited, Starbucks back in the like early mid 2000s they had the best chocolate cream cheese muffin ever and for whatever reason they discontinued it but I know how to make them at home so I'm going to share that with you guys as well also I don't know how long this video is going to be I'm thinking maybe it might go into tomorrow because we have like a couple other things that we want to do as well so hopefully I get to share that with you guys too so let's jump right into this video and hang out as you can see I've started decorating for Christmas I actually started decorating the day after Halloween because I have a lot of stuff I didn't even decorate for fall and so I pled my case I was like well I didn't even decorate for fall which means I could decorate earlier for Christmas so that's why I started doing I have the mantle done I have like some of the pillows out and they're all disheveled but whatever and then I have some of the napkins like the Christmas napkins Christmas towels that I already washed and need to put away and then we'll be bringing in our main Christmas tree and it's gonna be going right over here in this corner and then where my son came out of, in that room is gonna be my Disney Christmas tree and I have a video um, showing a lot of my ornaments for that Disney Christmas tree and I will link that down below guys. I love, love my Disney Christmas tree and that is probably my most fun thing to put up during the Christmas season is that tree. So it's almost lunchtime. I'm gonna be making some salmon and some sweet potatoes in my air fryer. I have mentioned this in a kid's lunchbox video how much I love and appreciate my air fryer now and in fact it actually has a permanent spot on my countertops which is saying quite a lot. But my mom actually uh, recently went to Trader Joe's and I asked her if they had these purple sweet potatoes, if they had any to please pick me up a bag. She actually got me two bags which is awesome. So I'm going to be using these types of sweet potatoes today for my lunch. Um, I do have a bag of the Costco sweet potatoes but I'm going to go through these first. These are a lot smaller and they just taste so good. They have a really nice sweetness to it. They're like a mild sweetness so I'm gonna be having this for lunch I'm gonna show you guys how I make it so my older son made some lunch for all the kids so so cute careful don't worry mom I'm as careful as I can I mean I'm as careful That's a lot of chips for you huh <laughs> this is your plate oh she even made a little tiny baby sandwich for Adelaide you don't like jello? Okay, you don't have to eat the jello. Thank you, Calvin. Very nice of you, baby. Thank you. What do you say to your brother, Calvin? Adelaide, what do you say to Calvin? Thank you, Callie. All right, so I'm gonna preheat. Make sure there's nothing in here. Clean. So I am gonna preheat this to, I'll leave it at 400, but I am gonna turn this to about 30 minutes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook a sweet potato in there first, and then about 10 minutes, when there's 10 minutes left, I will add in my salmon. All right, so I have two smaller sweet potatoes right here. They probably don't really even need 30 minutes. They probably just need like 25. But I rinsed them. I'm just gonna poke some holes with a fork on all sides. Once my air fryer is ready, I'm gonna throw these guys in there, and then I'm gonna start prepping my salmon. The fryer is telling me it's ready, so I have my sweet potatoes. I'm just gonna throw these guys in here. There goes my timer, and so I'm gonna start prepping my salmon. So for my salmon, it's very, very easy. I'm gonna use some olive oil. I have some Himalayan pink sea salt, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of this lemon pepper I picked up from Target. So I'm gonna put this all in a bowl right here, and then whenever my timer gets down to about 10 minutes, because this is a pretty thin piece of salmon, really, really thin, so it doesn't need much time, uh, I'll stick it in there with the sweet potatoes so that it all cooks together. So in goes some olive oil, not much. Like two cracks of salt. And then some pepper, lemon pepper. I'm just gonna kind of swirl it around. And then in goes the salmon, and I'll just kind of swirl it around in here. And it'll actually just kind of hang out and marinate for about 20 minutes while the sweet potatoes are cooking. And that is literally it, you guys. This is, this is like a low-key lunch idea. I have this like two times a week probably. 
and very, very about easy. About 10 minutes, to, uh, 10 minutes, 30 seconds to go. I'm just gonna add it in here. So these are guys are looking pretty good. Here's my salmon. I'm just gonna give it one more turn in the bowl to make sure all the sides are good. And this is just gonna go straight in there. Push this guy back in, not getting the handle dirty. And there we go, and it'll continue cooking. And then my lunch will be ready. On my Instagram and on my YouTube channel community tab, I asked for some questions. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a Q&A. And I was kind of concerned that I wouldn't get any questions, but I got some good ones. So I'm going to be answering some of your questions. So stay tuned. They're going to be kind of sprinkled in here throughout the video. All right, it's all done. Let me show you all how it looks. Oh, yes. Looks so delicious. I am starving. Put you guys back down. I'm doing my cut these open. Ooh, nice and tender. That's how they look on the inside. I have two because they're really, really tiny, like really small. There we go. And there is my lunch. And you know what I've been putting on my salmon recently? Let me show you. I completely forgot I got this um, on a Trader Joe's haul probably at the beginning of the year. And I completely forgot. You guys, I have to do another like pantry clean out. But this is truffle barbecue sauce. Now, I know this might not sound very good, but it tastes delicious and the truffles truffle in here is like not overpowering whatsoever i just put like a little tiny drizzle of that on top oh it smells so good but this would probably be a lot better on chicken and that's it it's probably like a teaspoon if that all right i'm gonna i'm gonna grub right now all right so while i sit down to eat my lunch i'm actually gonna be on the computer um searching for lighting because our lights in the kitchen it's a terrible situation let me show you why the lights are on in the kitchen which it looks super bright right now because it's it's daylight but look at the lights are all on look how many are off oh my gosh nothing, nothing happened i'm just checking you out dude yeah. <laughs> i love you look yeah go look in the mic go look in mama's mirror go on be careful though. Back to the kitchen lighting. This is how many are working. So those two lights over there, um, those are on a separate switch. So those do work, but the rest of the lights in here do not work at all. And the reason why we can't just go and replace the bulbs are because the bulbs in there are extremely difficult to replace. Um, these are kind of like, they're on like little, prongs i guess you could say and this was like the style back in like 2009 this is when the house was built in 2009 but they're extremely difficult to um replace so we have an electrician coming and he's going to do a whole new um bulb change i guess and then what we're also going to do is we're going to add in some pendant lighting above the island just so it adds like more of an ambient lighting i guess you could say and he's going to build a switch on the outside over here on this wall right there so it'll be a separate light but we're going to have a lot of light now in here it's so dark at night i'm going to have to show you guys when it's dark it is dark and that's probably contributing to my bad eyesight Okay, so this first question comes from my Instagram, and I did laugh out loud pretty good. And the question is, will there be a celebration of life for the dishwasher when the time comes? And no, we are kicking it to the curb. No celebration whatsoever. We are just going to be thrilled that it's out of the house and that we're going to have some clean dishes. We finally decided on a Bosch dishwasher. I think that's how you pronounce it, hopefully. In my last Costco haul, I was asking for recommendations on what type of dishwasher to purchase, like during the Black Friday sales, and we finally decided and settled on this one. So we are gonna be watching the sales over the next couple of weeks and see if we can score a deal, because they are kind of expensive, but it, we definitely need an upgrade. All right, so I have some time before I want to get dessert started and dinner started. So I am going to, I think, work out a little bit um, for maybe like 30 minutes. And I work out like maybe four times a week. 
I like to walk as often as possible and then do a bunch of strength training. So I try to lift as heavy as I can. So I'm gonna do that today. It's a beautiful day outside, but we might, might go out to the mountains tomorrow and spend just like the morning, early afternoon up there and have lunch. So we'll, we'll see about that. Hopefully that'll be my time to be outside in nature. So I'm just gonna keep it easy today and work, um, work out inside. This is gonna be my pre-workout. Usually people use like powders or whatever, like energy drinks to uh, work out beforehand, but I'm just having a little bit of coffee. So anyway, I'm gonna drink this up real quick and then we're gonna go to my room and work out. I wanted to show you my room real quick. My son came in here and made my bed for me. He's so, so cute. I loved how he made it. Um, but this area is kind of decorated for Christmas. That TV, oh gosh, you guys. I feel like everything is breaking at one time in this house. But I guess that's just the way it goes. But anyway, I got a new print um, that's going to be coming in for winter. I thought it would look cute up there over the bed. So I never really did a like full room tour after we tore out the carpet and put this laminate in. But, or vinyl I think. This is actually vinyl flooring. Very, very nice flooring. I love it so much. So now what we're going to do for future home projects, we're going to be doing our kids room soon and replacing all of that carpet and putting in vinyl. Um, but that's again another project for another day. It takes a long time to do, but we needed to get this room done for sure. So who I like to follow on YouTube right now because I like to do like free workouts. I love Heather Robertson. She has some great easy to follow workouts. She doesn't talk, it's just music. And then whenever she switches the exercise, it'll be like a bell. So you have like the um, external sound to know when to switch up the exercise. But this is what I love. She has some great, great exercises on here. She also has a lot of low impact stuff too. There was a time where I couldn't do any like jumping. I still can't really do any jumping. I can run, but like jumping, the movement of doing like any jumps was killing my knees. So she has a bunch of like workouts that are easy on the knees, which are amazing. So if you're looking for somebody, definitely check her out. And I'm gonna do, let's see, I was, I was going in order. Um, I think I'm gonna do legs. I love doing legs. Let's do that. And this is my little workout equipment area. There's not much over here, but that's what we like. So these, you guys, if you're looking for any Christmas ideas, if you're wanting some weights, these are fantastic. I think we've had these for, maybe six years already but what these are these are adjustable weights so you don't have to buy like an entire weight set you know what i mean this is all condensed down into just this small little area but it goes up to 52.5 on each side so you can adjust it as needed these are extremely heavy, <laughs> like these are together are very, very heavy, They're very, very sturdy. I just love that we can come over here and just kind of change the amount of weights that are needed and then you just pick it up. Love this so, so much. Best purchase ever. And then of course I have like a little yoga mat and I do have some resistance bands. Here's my little knee brace I might use every once in a while if my knee acts up. But this is literally all you need and then you just need a space in your room if you wanna work out. And this is where I'm gonna be working out. So you don't need a gym or anything. YouTube is free. Just invest in some weights and you're, you're set. This next question, I'm actually gonna combine it because it's pretty much the same thing. The first one says, I know you said your spouse is a teacher. I wondered what kind, and you also mentioned you worked, so I wondered what you did. And the second one is, do you work outside the home? So first off, my husband is an eighth grade PE teacher, and he's been doing it for, I believe, 11 years now, coming up on 11, maybe 12. He's been doing it for quite a while. He loves it, and he will occasionally coach too on the side, like baseball or soccer. He used to do football back in the day so he does all that stuff he really enjoys it and as for me I do work outside the home well technically not outside because I work inside the home but I am an office manager for a company that helps pastors with their outreach I've been doing this for maybe like 12 years or so 
Before that, I used to work for Starbucks, which a lot of you guys probably know about. I worked at Mervyn's. That was actually my very first job was Mervyn's and I loved it. I actually enjoy like working with customers. I loved Starbucks too. That was really fun. But yep, so I work from home. I live at home. My entire life has revolved around my home. And while I am here stretching, let's answer another question. And that is, have you visited the UK before? And no, I have not. Neither has my husband. However, we decided a couple years ago that we want to go for our 20th anniversary. So we have been putting money aside each month, saving for that just little by little. I know every penny counts. And so hopefully in the next four years, five years or so, we will get there. I want to go toward the English countryside, wine country, Italy, of course, maybe Germany. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but I definitely want to get over there. We're going to try to try to attempt this without the kids. So that's what kind of makes the itinerary probably a little bit shorter because we don't want to drive my in-laws or my mom insane with them the entire time. So we'll see what we can do. But yes, we are, we will be going there eventually. That was good. I'm going to make me a smoothie right now. Let's go. Oh. I have all of the things laid out for my smoothie. You guys may or may not have seen this. I usually post my smoothie on my Instagram account. If you're not following me, I will leave a link down below if you guys would want to take a deeper dive into my life that I don't share here on YouTube, um, just because sometimes it's a lot faster to share stuff over there on Instagram. So anyway, all right, so what I'm gonna do is, this is actually super, super simple. You can add more or uh, take away less depending on what you like. This is all the spinach I have left from this bag. This was like, um, I had to do a Walmart run or rather a Walmart delivery drop off in between my Costco hauls because I was running out of everything. So I used up all that spinach and now I get to open up this spinach from Costco. So I have a big handful of spinach right there. I'm going to include some protein powder. Now, I know a lot of people don't enjoy protein powder, but this brand right here, Love Sweat Fitness, really, really good. The other one I really enjoy, probably second, is the Nature's something or other. I don't know what it's called, but that would be my second choice. I will link that second choice too for you guys if you're looking for a good, solid, like tasting protein powder that doesn't have like a weird aftertaste. And then what I'm also gonna throw in here too is some psyllium husk. Hopefully that is showing up but this is just good for extra fiber. We don't get enough fiber, but we don't get enough protein either, ladies. We do not get as much protein as um, you think that we should. A lot of women think that if you take or, take or eat a lot of protein that you're gonna bulk up, and that is absolutely false. That is not gonna happen. So try to eat more protein or get it like this way. I'm gonna throw in a quarter of a frozen banana, a handful of blueberries, I wanted to use up these blueberries before I open up my triple berry blend that I got from Costco. And then I'm gonna throw in, you don't, I do this every once in a while, but uh, a tablespoon or so of just peanut butter. So not too much. And then I'm gonna pour in a cup of water. I usually just eyeball the water because I know exactly what it looks like. And then that is it. And you're gonna screw this on. And in my like air jet of a blender, it's so, ridiculously loud, it's gonna blend up nice and smooth. Let's get into our next question. There's a couple of questions in here actually. How old are you? Are you guys planning on having more kids? And do you find it hard to make mom friends? Great questions. Okay, so I am 39 years old. I will be 40 in March and I can't wait. I mean, I used to say like, oh my gosh, I hate getting older, but now it's just, I, I enjoy it because it's just an extra year that God has blessed me with. And so I'm thankful. I'm excited to turn 40. Are you guys planning on having more kids? That I don't, that's a very hard question because I feel like I want to, but I don't think my body could go through another pregnancy. I had like borderline hyperemesis gravidarum where you're just like extremely sick. You need like an IV and all that stuff, but I wouldn't, we're not closing the door on adoption. We feel like if we are in a position maybe one day like to adopt, we are open to that. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see where God takes us. And the last question is, do you find it hard to make mom friends? Absolutely, I think this is relatable for most moms across the board. There's just so many different things going on, different schedules. So it's just hard to not only keep relationships that you have, but forming new ones. But that's what I love about social media, you know, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, online communities. I love it because you get 
get to form new relationships, meet other people with similar interests, and maybe potentially have lifelong friendships online, and maybe you can meet them in real life one day. And that is it. I'm gonna change my shirt because I'm really, really sweaty, and then we're gonna get started, I think, on dessert. Do you guys like how I worked out? And then I'm making dessert. That is my life. I live for dessert, so I need to work out so that I can eat the dessert. These copycat Starbucks cream cheese muffins are so delicious and are pretty much like the dead on dupe for the official Starbucks version. I wish you guys could have tried them. Maybe if you did, let me know if you guys remember those muffins. They were so good. I would eat them like on my shift like all the time when I could. They were just so bomb. I'm going to leave the recipe down below if you guys are interested in making something like this. And I'm also going to show two different ways that you can make this. The first way that I baked it is I would add in the chocolate muffin mixture halfway in the muffin tins and then I would add a big dollop of the cream cheese filling right in the middle of that and then on top of that I would add some more chocolate muffin mixture now that's not how they did their official muffin but I thought these look nice like this and it's more of like a peekaboo cream cheese like center which is a really cool way to have it and then I also baked it off the way that I know how they used to make them which is you fill up your muffin tins all the way with the chocolate muffin mixture put a big dollop on top of the cream cheese mixture and then you would see it kind of overflowing once you baked it so so good you guys i'm not even kidding with a glass of cold milk is my like favorite dessert ever <laughs> So I didn't realize that I had already made a video featuring this dinner. So I will link that right up here in the cards for you guys and down below in the description box if you guys are interested in watching the whole process. Otherwise, I'll just link the recipe to it. This is a really good question. I'm relatively new to your channel. How did you get started? What drew you to YouTube? I really enjoy your content. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for asking this. I don't really think I've ever said why I started this, but in order to answer this question, I need to go backwards. So when I was pregnant with my first, I developed a slight um, postpartum depression and it was awful. Pair that with a seasonal change because it was fall, it was getting darker out, and it was just a really bad couple of months for me. So fast forward, I find out I'm pregnant in January 2020. The baby is due in September. Then the pandemic hits. I know I won't be able to see anyone. I'm so afraid of it getting darker again earlier, and I was just scared again of getting PPD. So I started brainstorming, okay, what could I do like in my downtime, right? Downtime with a newborn and two kids that makes no sense at all but in my mind at the time it made sense I thought it would be kind of cool to have a YouTube channel because I really enjoyed editing my family's home movies and thought this would be just super productive for me just producing making content so that's what I did and who knew that I would be here today I would never have thought it I am loving doing YouTube I think it is so fun again not only making stuff but getting to hang out and talk with you guys you have really made this just a great place to be, so I really, really appreciate you. Dinner is about ready. I'm gonna serve it up. This is what we generally like to watch while we eat a meal. We're watching Family Matters right now, and we had actually just finished up Full House, like the original oh, Full I know. We had, we had originally finished up Full House. Yeah, not Fuller House, so we're going back to like the old um family uh, sitcoms family matters was one of my favorite and dan's too so showing them this and they've been really enjoying it they love steve urkel he's hilarious dear lord thank you for this food thank you for blessing this family and help us be productive lord and get things done thank you for the hard work our the kids put in lord and like calvin and outside lord and thank you for uh, blessing them please keep them safe and good health help us love them as you love that amen. amen eat all of them eat your food
So I'm gonna end the video right here, but we're gonna pick it up tomorrow, hopefully, to go on a hike. So I will see you in a second. Coffee is made. I'm going to start packing up our picnic lunch. So let's get to our next question while I am doing that. And that is how much do you make doing YouTube? This is probably a question that a lot of people often wonder, like how much do YouTubers really, really make? So I will be very transparent with you. I will let you know what I will be making for the month of October. I haven't gotten paid for October yet, but that is coming up. So I will be paid $258.40 for the month of October. And that amount varies from month to month depending on how many views I'm getting. But just to put it into perspective, for this video today that I'm uploading, it's gonna be around 30 minutes. To film, it was about eight hours. Editing is about six to 10 hours. SEO, thumbnail, um, that takes about maybe two-ish hours or so. And then uploading the video, of course, that takes maybe like 10 to 12 hours. I don't do anything with that. I just let the computer do its thing. But there's a lot that goes into it. So if you really break it down, I make maybe like a couple bucks an hour if you break it down like that. But I really enjoy what I'm doing. I think it would be really incredible if one day I could make this like an actual full-time job. Like even part-time job would be amazing. I think that'd be so cool. But we'll see what happens. So today we are headed up to Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Park where we're going to spend the day. We're going to do a little trail, have some lunch. And the trail we're actually going to be doing is the Big Stump Loop Trail. It's about maybe a mile and a half. But at the end of the trail is a large giant sequoia. And I'm just going to read this to you. It's from the website. But it is a 16 feet in diameter. And even after the National Park was established, travel to the sequoia groves was difficult and many people simply didn't believe trees could grow so large. In 1891, the army cut down the sequoia so it could be displayed to astonished crowds in New York and London, which is a, such a shame, but I understand why they probably did that back in the day. And it is massive. You will see that towards the end of our little trail adventure that we're going to have here. So these are my last two questions, and I'm going to kind of clump them together because they're pretty much almost the same. What inspires you to share food ideas? How do you film considering you have three kids? plus the never-ending household chores and how do you balance life as a youtuber and being a mom they are both a full-time job and that last question is actually for my friend Charlene Town who has a YouTube channel so she fully understands what it's like but what inspires me to share food is that I've always loved loved food I was never really a picky eater so I've always loved food but I didn't know how to cook so I didn't know or learn how to cook until I got married and it was a bunch of trial and error and now I just love it so, so much. Same with baking. My mom taught me how to bake. But making food and sharing food with others is just, that just makes me so happy. And as far as balancing it all, the chores, kids, and whatnot, it's very hard. Delegating has been my best friend lately, especially for my older two boys. They can do their laundry, which is a huge help. I just wash it and then they will fold it, put it away. I sometimes have to help my younger son, but that is a huge help just right there. And then as far as like trying to work around like a schedule, I wake up pretty early on most days. I try to wake up at like 4.30. I read my Bible, I have my coffee, and then I will start like working on YouTube or like my blog or something. And then I will work really late at night. So like right now it's pretty late at night. I'm in my closet filming this voiceover for this video. So it's definitely like an all day, all the time thing. That's why I truly enjoy like my vacations if I go somewhere with my husband or with my kids that's my time to just chill out and be present with them but as far as filming goes my kids really think it's funny that I film and that I talk to a camera so but they've gotten used to it over the past couple years near the trail that we were at there was a lot of controlled burns going on so we decided to pack up and go move to a different picnic spot where it was more clean air um, but that's where we are gonna end this video guys and thank you so much for sending in your questions I hope Hope you guys liked this type of format if you guys do maybe i'll revisit this idea again like in six months or something so leave me a comment down below what you guys thought of this video and please give it a thumbs up too before you leave i would really appreciate that and we will see you in the next one bye friends and in the eyes of time, nobody's losing.